All right, we're back here in the garage. We're working on the old uh, Fury. We call it Mickey. But uh, we're gonna do a little electrical systems check here today. And I'm gonna come on around here. And uh, I checked some things out here when I first got it, but I really didn't go through it. Uh, and I'm probably not gonna go all the way through it here now. I'm gonna hook this battery up and we're gonna check a few things on it. Uh, turn signals and stuff like that. Just see what works and what doesn't. So, uh, if you'll get out front here, I'll holler out what we're doing. And uh, we'll try the headlights. How's that? Working. Try the dimmer switch. Working. Okay. Some parking lights work. Yeah. Uh, let's try the turn signals here. Flashing? On, but not flashing. Uh-huh. Let's check these other uh, parking lights around here. Let's check this one over here. Yep, it's working. Yep, that one's working. We'll move around here to the back. Looks like that one's working. Tail lights. And I suspect while the tail lights are not working, or whether the turn signal's not working on that side, uh, is because probably that bulb is bad. Let's check this one here. And that one's working. All right. Let's look, uh, let's check a few more things here. Let's check the wipers. Oh, uh, there's the first speed. There's the second speed. So we've got two speeds. We'll turn it off, see if it'll park. Oh yes, uh, I got the washer fluid thing hose over here because they actually hooked to the hood. Let's see if that works. I don't know if I can find the button for it. That would appear to be just fine. Let's look inside here, see what kind of dash lights we got. All right, it looks like the dome light works. Let's check out these dash lights. Let's see if they work. And, oh yeah. I'm talking about you can dim them down here brighten them up so the dash lights work you can see that turn that uh how about the heater fan oh yeah high speed the uh, low speed oh there's three speeds so you got a low barely hear it medium Coming on up there, high. So that works. What about the radio? Now we're inside here, so we're probably not gonna be able to pick up anything if it does work, but. I hear some buzzing. Yeah. So there we got that, and let's check something else here. No, I knew that didn't work. So there's two issues that we know of, is the horn and that turn signal back here. Let's take a look at that turn signal. Okay, I forgot one thing, the backup lights. I thought it in reverse before I walked back here, and sure enough, they work. I don't know if we got any. Uh, yeah, I probably had a, a license plate light, and it's not working if it has one. I don't remember seeing one in there, but we'll, We'll check into it right now. Let's check into that turn signal, that bulb over here, which I suspect is bad. Okay, I got my assistant taking this thing off and we'll see here in a minute what is what. All right, we got all the screws out of it, but I'm telling you, that sucker, look at that. He does not want to come out of there. So against my better judgment, I'm taking a screwdriver to it and prying around on it. Probably gonna break it. I don't know what else to do, listen to it. That sucker ain't been out of there in a while. That sucker ain't been out of there since 1970. Okay, that's what that looks like. Now, your backup lights over here. This is the one I suspect is corroded up or bad. <laughs> it came right out though. Look at that corrosion on it. There's what your problem is, I believe. And that's an 1157. So I'll get one to stick in it and we'll see what happens. 
Okay, I've squirted some WD-40 back in there. I've got a new 1157 we're gonna put in it. And it seemed like uh, you sometimes they get stuck in there and everything else, but uh, this one seemed like uh, it was pretty, pretty happy about trying this stuff. Now I'm gonna go up here with my cameraman stays back here. We'll see what happens. No flashing. Still nothing. And the backup lights are on because I still got it reversed, but what is going on here? And I believe that should be the other. Just absolutely not coming on. So we'll come back to that there in a little bit and then probably a good time to check all these fuses. Also, right about right there is the horn relay. So what I'm gonna do is take that out, clean the terminals on it and stick it back in and see what happens. Okay, I took that relay out and put it back in and now we got some Good. And we also know from the previous video that the uh, buzzer for the key works. <laughs> Look what I found. Not in the glove box, but on eBay. But check this out. These Furies are chick magnets, man. Look at this guy. He's going to get some leg tonight for sure. And uh, if you need to learn how to shift a three-speed on a column, this might be a little help right here in this section. And in this section, they talk about the sins of radial tires and why you should only use bias ply. Okay, we got that working. It was just this little bulb right here. And uh, we put a new Sylvania Long Life 97 in it, and that fixed that. Now on the tail light, the turn signal situation, still didn't get that working. Cleaned it out, and uh, I don't think it's the bulb like I thought it was or the socket. Uh, the brake light's not working either. Uh, but we got a lot of other stuff working and just about everything works other than I believe the brake lights and this one this right turn signal and uh, So that's pretty good And anybody that's fooled around with these old cars can tell you the electrical systems can be a nightmare uh, This one is pretty simple Very simple. Uh, there's not many accessories and no fancy sequential tail lights or like you might find in an Imperial or something like that uh, it's pretty simple, pretty basic, and even though the brake lights don't work and that one turn, turn signal doesn't work, I feel pretty darn fortunate because you can get into them and just hardly nothing works, and everything's messed up. So we're really fortunate that this one is pretty much functional, especially the windshield wiper thing even works, and that's not, uh, or the windshield washer uh, squirter works. That's, <laughs> you don't hardly see that ever in them. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy. So the brake light and the uh, turn signal deal uh, doesn't look to be that simple. I don't think it's gonna be that bad, but it's not a job for tonight. I've got a bunch of stuff in the trunk of this thing and I need to start tracing some wires down. But, uh, and also, it's also a good time to stop and just think about it. Study on it, as the old folks used to say, and maybe it'll come to you. Think about those things. Maybe do a little bit of research and ask some of my friends on the four C bodies only forum or look around in there and see what they've come up with on stuff like that. But tonight, it ain't right. I gotta have me a week, but I'll be back for you, Jack, and I'll let the machine speak.